What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to write fractions of amounts and we're looking at something specific today. We're looking at unit fractions. We're going to learn what that means. So stick around, let's jump into it. Now the very first thing we need to remember today is that fractions are just a part of a whole. If you didn't watch the introduction lesson to fractions, go back on the channel and find that lesson first. But essentially, all we need to know is that fractions are just a part of a whole. And today we're looking at something special, we're looking at unit fractions. And what a unit fraction is? A unit fraction is when we have a one as our numerator, the number on the top. So that brings me to the first point that we need to remember. When we're looking at a fraction, for example, this one sixth over here, we have two numbers. The number on the top is called the numerator and the number on the bottom, the denominator. The denominator tells me how many I've split my whole into. So I have my whole pack of marbles here and I've split them into one, two, three, four, five, six. And the numerator is how many we're trying to focus on. So in this case, one. So let's look at what our question is asking us in this first example. It says, find one sixth of these marbles. Now, this first one's pretty easy because we actually only have six. So my denominator is the same amount that we have when we've split our marbles up. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I don't need to do any extra maths there. So to find the quantity, to find how many of these marbles one sixth is, all I need to do is color one of them and understand that therefore one of them is now green. So my answer to what one sixth of these marbles is, is just one. But question two is a lot harder because look, we have find one third of these marbles and I have a lot more than just three. If I had these three, it would be very easy. I could just simply color one of them and get the same answer as one, but it's not. I have more than three. So my first job now, I have to split these into three equal groups. So how can I make three equal groups? Well, I'm going to make three circles. One, two, three. These are my sharing circles. And then I'm simply going to put these marbles inside my three sharing hoops. So I'm going to put this one in here. I'll put the number two in here, three in here. Carry on just like this. Six and seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12. Now, there's something I need to check. I need to make sure I have the same amount in each of my sharing hoops. So I have one, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Perfect. So I know I've shared these evenly. And now because I've shared them into three equal piles using my denominator, remember my denominator is what tells me how many piles I need to make. To find out how many is one third all I'll do is count one of my sharing circles. How many do I have in here? Well, I have one, two, three, four. So therefore, finding one third of these marbles equals four. Simple. But sometimes we don't have marbles. Sometimes we just have a question. This, this question says, find one fifth of 25. Well, if I don't have marbles, I can still make them using a spare bit of paper or a bit of my board here. So how many marbles do I have? I have 25 and I'm trying to find one fifth. So the most important starting position is my denominator here. So I need to share my 25 marbles evenly between five groups. So I'm going to draw my five circles. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm simply going to share my 25 marbles evenly between these five sharing circles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's just quickly check that they all have the same amount. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good. So we know that each one has 5. Therefore, when I'm finding out how many is in one fifth of these amounts, I can just focus on one circle and see that I have an answer of 5. Easy, right? Let's look at what to remember. Unit fractions are fractions where the numerator, the number on the top, is a 1. When we're trying to find a fraction of an amount, like today's lesson, we use the denominator, the number on the bottom, to create equal groups. So for this example, I would need three circles because I have a denominator of three. So then I'm going to count how many is in each group and then simply look at the numerator to tell me how many groups I want to count the total for. And that's going to give me my answer. Your turn. Find one quarter of these marbles. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen marbles. I want you to tell me what one quarter of them are. If you're struggling, go back to the beginning of this video and watch it again. I promise the second time it makes a lot more sense. And there you go, guys. That is how to find a fraction of a quantity using unit fractions. Our next lesson, we're going to look at non-unit fractions, which is a big jump up. So hopefully I'll see you in that video. But for now, guys, I'm going to say peace out and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.